Hi, this is GHPK with two CPU fans. This one is for the CPU heatsink fan which gets settled on the heatsink and this one is normally known as a cabinet fan which you have in your computer, most, mostly in the desktop computers. So these are two fans which makes your computer, your CPU run at a lower temperature. It dissipates the heat so that the processor can process faster and perform well. So before I was uh, going to throw these two fans, I thought I should show you guys what's inside these fans. These are basically 12 volt based brushless motor base fans. So uh, brushless means there is the magnet is on the fixed surface and it rotates around the armature and uh, brushless means that current is electronically controlled and converted to AC that goes into a lot of complex electronic and electrical stuff so leave that apart let's just peek around inside what's inside the CPU fan as these fans are already discarded they were running slow so I have already taken out and I'm not worried about damaging them so I'll just pop it open and show you guys what's inside these fans uh, one can also take out the magnet which is used inside these fans so you use it for any fun project use it for any of your projects so like I said the magnet is fixed permanently and it is not fixed on the body it is fixed on the rotating part this magnet rotates along the fins on this circuit like in traditional fans the armature is uh, placed around this rotating part and the magnets are stuck inside the body so it process in such a way that uh, re revolution or the rotation occurs but in the case of brushless fans these are the four coils this is the magnet if you apply some more pressure and use some more tools this magnet will come off easily in most of the fans you will be able to find this good magnet you can see the over the time of usage this adhesive has gone weak so it came out very easily and there was some metal part inside this looks like a foreign particle to me leave it that way this is the brass based or a copper based pulley which facilitates the rotation so that this this doesn't have a ball bearing and this as I told you these fans are electronically controlled you can see there are tiny parts these are transistors or the power drivers so I'll try to pull the PCB also as you can see there was one screw for the PCB oh I think I'll be damaging this completely before I'll be able to take out this PCB part because this looks like using a very strong adhesive so as you can see I have already managed to damage the body a lot of this pops out and this is not the magnet so so here goes your CPU fan this was some local brand and uh, 12 volt DC 0 0.2 amperes these were its pins which are which is now a history so you can see that there is a PCB some plastic parts to So there are two driver trans transistors and these are D734, one is D734 and the other one is also D734, the, however the series is different, this is E2J, this is E2, so there, there is also a Gina diode, there is also a rectifier which might be converting the DC supply from your 
power supply or the SMPS of your computer to a AC current so that the motor can run. These are four coils which enables the current to facilitate the rotation. There are couple of resistors, surface mount resistors, couple of them I recognize them. There is a 330 ohm resistance, there is a 200 ohm resistance but leave it that way. So this is what's inside your CPU fan, cabinet fan, chassis fan, 